3 a.m. and I just finished a book. And trying to be proactive here, I figured I might as well film the review while it's still fresh in my mind. So, oh my god, it took me so long to read this book. Am I so long? I mean, like, you know, the better part of a month. But I just, it took a while to get through the first half. I'm not gonna lie. Like, I don't know if it was just me and I just wasn't feeling the book at the time. Or if I was just, like, so pissed off because the main character just could not seem to accept the fact that she needed to dump her, like, loser of a boyfriend who she didn't even love for the guy that was smoking hot and, like, well, it wasn't insta-love, but, you know, she had feelings for him. So, anyways, the book I just finished reading was The Wild Ones by M. Leeton. So, this was the first book of hers that I've read, and I know I have one or two for others. I'm pretty sure they're packed though, which is too bad because I would really like to read them. I liked her writing style. It took a little getting used to. The word used was sometimes a little strange. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. But anyway, so this book is about a girl named Cammie and she grew up on a ranch in like North Carolina, somewhere in that area in the States, Kentucky. I don't know. My U.S. geography is way off, so I'm not sure how close they are to each other, but anyway, so she grew up on a horse farm, and she goes back home for the summer while school's on break, and she meets this guy at a bar, and it turns out he is one of the farmhands at her father's ranch, and yeah, this whole thing starts, and it is kind of awesome. So this book is New Adult. It is told in dual perspective, so you get Cammie's perspective every other chapter alternating with Trick whose real name is Patrick but they call him Trick. Trick's chapters. I'm not always a fan of alternating chapters. I'm not gonna lie. When they're done really well I love them. This one I don't know it's just you know it's one of those books I kind of have to power through for a little bit but it was worth it in the end. I don't know. Anyways, you know what I mean. So um uh, I also, you know, I had problems connecting with Cammie as a character. Part of it was her boyfriend thing, because I was just like, you keep going over the same argument in your head over and over and over again. Like, cut the dumbass loose and just be done with it so you can date this really hot new guy who has the same interests that you do and is going through school to be a vet. Like, uh, hello, like sexy, right there. So, I don't know, I just... I wanted to slap a bitch, let's face it. And I really, I really like Trick though. I did like Trick. I didn't like the name. <laughs> I thought the name was a little annoying, but it grew on me. Um, but I, I really liked him. He was, you know, it was, it was the type of guy that a girl would love to have. Family oriented, you know, unselfish, a little clueless, but I mean, come on, he's a guy. What can you expect? I fell in love with the secondary characters, the two best friends. So. For Cammie, that was her best friend Jenna, and for Trick, that was his best friend Rusty, and the awesome thing is that the second book, the companion novel, is about them. So, I am so excited to read it, but that's a whole different review. Plot. Yes. So, it did take a while. You know what? How long is the book? The book is like... I don't know pages. Just over 300 pages. <sighs> Maybe could have cut out like 50 pages. It would have been a really short book then, which would have kind of sucked. But, I don't know, I just, I found the beginning just so slow, and other people have loved it, so maybe they didn't have the same problem. Like I said, it could just be me. I could have just not been in the mood for a young adult book at the time. But, you know, once that halfway mark hit, it really picked up. You got a lot of climax going on in more than this and one, and it just, so much started happening that you needed to read and find out what happened next, because... Oh my god, like, major drama of the best sort. So, I liked it that way. Once the plot did pick up, it was a lot more enjoyable, and it was good. It was good. I liked it. It was a solid average book for me. If you're in the market for a new adult book, definitely give The Wild Ones a chance. Especially, I mean, like, look. Look at the sexiness on the cover. Like, hello. 
Hello, McSexy Veterinarian. If you like horse books too, it's nice because it has that whole aspect of it. And uh, yeah, I don't know, it was good. Until next time, guys, I will look a little more presentable and not be wearing my PJs. And it won't be 3 in the morning, let's hope. Okay, until then, happy reading.